Hello there. Don't go away. Whatever you do, don't go away. As you can clearly see here, let me sync the other computer. As you can clearly see here, it is the Invisible Man, back again from jolly old England to once again host of another Halloween show from the correct views. If for any, now look at me when I'm talking to you, if for any reason you are confused by what is going on, then I suggest you read the description. Needless to say, all of the news is real, but the people giving it to you, well, they are not real. They are created, but they could have been real. Buddy Puff, are you ready? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm like so ready. Well, then, by all means, please have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> like, yeah, man, I am so absolutely ready to go live. Oh, my God, I am live. Oh, my God, it's, it's like a huge error, man. Greetings on sailed souls and like welcome to the correct views. I am Buddy Puff and man, I've got some stories for all of you, man, for the Halloween season. He's saying I should get on you, man. Check this out. I'm showing you how the country's going straight to hell, man. This is from the smoking gun. Louisiana man Louisiana man tells cops. But a ghost planted meth on him, man. After police found methamphetamine in plain view on a nightstand in his home. A guy from Louisiana, man, he claimed that a ghost placed it there in his residence. That was according to the arrest report. Now, like, here's the part that really pisses me off, man. Like, they didn't even question the ghost, man. They didn't put him in cuffs or nothing, man. Invisible man, man, what would have happened to you, man, if you'd, you'd have been doing something like that? I'm just saying, man, the law is corrupt. Responding to a reported stabbing, and it might have been the ghost that did that too, man. Responding to a stabbing, sheriff's deputies early yesterday, encountered, well, you know what it was yesterday. They encountered Michael Ottenberry, 59, at the door of his West Monroe residence, man. Ottenberry seen at the right, like, you know, if you're on the, the website, otherwise you're just going to be seeing my right. <laughs> right. Anyway, he was, he cussed at the cops and the people who were obviously not there. Maybe they were there, man. Did you question the people that weren't there? Well, you know what I mean, right? It makes sense. Deputies quickly determined that Ottenberry had not, as he claimed in the 911 call, been stabbed on the head with an axe, man. He was completely lying. Unless, of course, the ghost took the axe, man. You have to axe him. I don't know, man. Normally, there were intruders inside the home, man. That's kind of weird. While making sure that Ottenberry's residence was clear, the deputy spotted in plain view on the nightstand, man, an open brown paper bag with approximately one gram of suspected meth, man. A subsequent search of Ottenberry urine a pill bottle containing another gram of meth. And that just goes to prove that his story was real, man. There was one meth for him, and then, and then there was like another one for the ghost. So what it might have been is like this guy ratted out the ghost, which makes him like way not a cool dude, man. Uh, he'd been uh, surmised that the ghost or intruders placed the meth on him and were exiting the home through the nearby window, man, which was not accurate according to what investigators knew. <laughs> man, Ottenberry was arrested for felony narcotics possession charge and a misdemeanor criminal mischief account. He's being held at the Alchihita Parish Jail in lieu of five grand, man. But let me tell you, it's the reason you turn into the correct views, man. It's worse than that. Because now, as I just proved to you, man, there is a ghost on the loose. And they, they don't know where he is, man. They didn't even question him. He is at large, man. Yeah. You're listening to Buddy Puff, man. I'm the intern at the correct views, man. I come out like I'm the 4th of July, April Fool's Day. Man, I've been an intern here for... For a really long time, because uh, 
Well, let's not get into that. Listen, man. Yahoo News. I got two left for you, man. Just two of them. Yahoo News. Half Moon Bay, California, man. One special seed. Now, it's not like the kind of seed you're probably thinking I know about. But after months of care, an Oregon commercial pilot produced a massive pumpkin that tipped the scales at a global way in Monday in Northern California, man. This was a kick-ass bitch in pumpkin, man. Fourth time this gargantuan plants were awarded top honors, man. Kind of makes you wonder what else he grows, man. Like, if he can grow a pumpkin that big, could you imagine, man? You'd need, like, two or three ghosts to be hauling this around, man. I'm just saying. It all started with one special seed, man. That's what this dude said. And I found my experience, man. If you do special seeds, you do great things, man. Steve Delatis, man, that's the guy who did it. A 2,000, man, 170-pound pumpkin. That's like a really big pumpkin. I ain't got to tell you that, you know. So hats off to him, man. I think that's awesome. Yahoo News is being, like, really slow. So that's all I'm going to cover that story. But it does bring us to the last one. And Sam is always there with the dumb D of the day, man. The stupidest story of the day. Well, let me tell you what, man. I got the dumb D of the day, man. I didn't forget. How about this, man? Yahoo News again, so it's going to be just as slow, man. It may be because of the ghosts. A Halloween display was so scary that neighbors called 911, man. This was in West Fargo. Fargo wagon coming down the street. North Dakota, man. A Halloween decoration hanging in a window of a North Dakota home is so scary that it prompted calls to 911 from neighbors. Like, they must have been neighbors that never watched a horror movie, man. Or maybe they were enjoying something that the ghost left behind with these really cool scenes. The sign reading, help me, which appears to be written in blood as part of Becky Mew's display for her favorite holiday there at the West Fargo home. But don't tune out, man, because... Oh, W-D-A-Y TV. I thought that was what they had. I don't know what day it is. What day TV reports that the moose and her husband began getting messages from neighbors over the weekend asking if they were okay and when they will even die of 911, man, leading to a visit from a police officer. So, like, if ghosts were leaving stuff in the house, they would have also gone down, man. Muse said well, the ghost was tied up in Louisiana before you say anything, Bob. Muse says the incident ended in a laugh and the officer didn't ask him to take the Halloween stuff down. No, man, because they're all tied up looking for these ghosts that are, like, freaking out in Louisiana and planting meth on people. All right, guys, that's Bunny Puff. Now, let me remind you that there's going to be another Halloween show between them. And I like after Halloween because I don't like ruining it, you know. But there's going to be one closer to Halloween and you're going to be joining Odd Mortise. And, man, he's one of the nicest people. Like, he's like a psychopath. He's really cool. And lastly, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you like the Halloween show. There is going to be another one. I'll be doing it, like I said, um, like Buddy said. I'll be doing it before Halloween. And uh, it's with uh, Ard Mortise. It's a different character. So hit share, hit subscribe. Make sure you uh, donate at the correct views at Hotmail.com. Good night, friends. God bless. So donate that way through PayPal. Ending this and my other live viewers. I hope you liked it. I do, I do.